In this video, we analyze internet cost and its uptake. The internet cost data for 2021 relative to income was sourced from the A4AI while the historical internet adoption data was obtained from the World Bank. I have grouped the countries by income, region and large rock status. Given the pivotal role of the internet in modern economic growth and development, understanding how its adoption varies by these variables is useful for policymakers. This knowledge will help them develop strategies to bridge the digital divide and ensure more equitable and affordable internet access, especially in an era where the world is becoming increasingly digitally globalized. When we consider income groups, we find that low and lower middle income countries have the highest internet costs. Consequently, they also have the lowest internet adoption. For instance, in low income countries, the Central African Republic, Chad, Burundi, and Congo have the most expensive internet. Among lower middle income nations, Haiti, Zimbabwe, and Papua New Guinea have the highest cost. Equatorial Guinea has the highest internet cost among upper middle income countries at 13.73% of income. Subsequently, it has lower internet adoption compared to other middle income countries. Notice how the high income countries are located on the periphery. If we hover over these nations, we also find that their internet adoption is the highest. If we select the region, we discover that the majority of countries with the highest cost are in Sub-Saharan Africa, with the rest being located in Latin America, East Asia and Pacific, South Asia and Middle East. Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia have the lowest internet adoption. Europe and Central Asia and North American countries have the lowest cost and, co and consequently the highest adoption rates. The average cost of internet in large rock countries was 4.02% of income compared to 2.63% in non large rock ones. Notice that internet adoption trades notice that internet adoption trades below the world average in large rock countries while non non large rock countries trades higher. In conclusion Low and lower middle income countries, particularly those in sub Saharan Africa and large rock regions, face the surge of high internet costs, which significantly hinders internet adoption. These regions should prioritize initiatives that bridge the digital divide by focusing on lowering internet access costs and expanding infrastructure development. The next project will focus on global analysis of growth of neighboring countries. Until then, thank you for your attention.